Well, Kane, first of all, welcome to Notts County. How Thanks excited are you to be here? Yeah, over the moon. Obviously, um, it's been sorted out over the last couple of days and I'm um, obviously delighted to be here. Um, it's a club that wants to go places and I want to go there with them, so yeah, over the moon. Keep hearing that about the club being a progressive club, a club yeah. that wants to go places. Do you kind of feel that? Have you got that impression talking to the owner and the manager? Yeah, we're just walking around obviously today and um, seeing what the chairman's invested in in, in the club and, and what he wants to do with it and obviously speaking to the manager as well. They obviously they want to take them next steps up and a lot of a lot of the staff here have already been at them, at them places. So um, like I said, over, over the moon to be here and can't wait to get going. Is the manager an influence on your decision to be here as well? Yeah, of course. He's, he's played in the Prem and a lot of his staff off as well. So um, they've all been there, they've all done it, they've got a lot of experience. And um, I can only come in and learn from them. So hopefully I can do that and um, play well and hopefully score a lot of goals. I know the last season has only just ended, but already there seems a, a sort of a fierce determination about yeah. Notts to, to go one better than they did yeah. last season, which was a good season anyway, just missed yeah. out, of course. Do you kind of pick up on that? Yeah, of course. and. They're obviously getting their business done early doors so they can we can have a um a right good pre season and, and make sure everyone's bedded in and um obviously they'll be disappointed at what happened last year but um they're looking to improve and get better again and hopefully I can be a part of that and um take that next step for uh promotion. Obviously you've been playing just up the road and Notts fans had a a glimpse of you that they probably didn't like in, in the local derby here. Yeah. Kind of gave you a taste though, didn't it, of uh -huh. what Meadow Lane can be like on a big day? Yeah, of course, and obviously it wasn't the, the nicest of weather on the day, but um, the game was unbelievable to play in and it was a great atmosphere, obviously. It was a, it was a packed house, obviously Mansfield brought a lot of fans as well and um, it was a fierce game and um, yeah, it was a good game to play in. And you kept your nerve at the end as well. Yeah, yeah I like to think I can do that <laughs> from time to time. Uh, for those fans that weren't here that day, yeah. uh, what uh, what can you tell Notts County fans about yourself if, if they haven't seen you play? Um, just just, just uh, striker, I like to get on the ball, like to be, be in and around the box, um, like to get my shots away and try and link with my, with, with, with my teammates and hopefully... Um, Hopefully they can see an, an, an exciting player on the pitch that can um, hopefully score a goal or two and, and be a, a big influence on his teammates around him. He scored a goal or two last year with Mansfield as well. Is it a bit of a wrench to leave there? Um, obviously I was only on loan and um, obviously my time there was, was done. I've not, had any, it's not really been in contact with them since I've left. So um, no, obviously it was, obviously the offers, offers come in and... Um, being kind of a local lad from Burton and uh, around the corner and obviously like I've said the plans that the chairman's got and the manager have got for the club it's it's something I, I thought I couldn't really turn down to be honest. Because if offers were coming in and it is still well, it's still May isn't it yeah. we, you know we're still early in in the close season you must have been absolutely convinced that this is the place. Yeah of course as soon as it come in as soon as it come in I was, I was convinced straight away um, like like I've said that, that what the club wants to do and for myself being local as well it, it's perfect it's a perfect match so um, delight just just get it done and over the moon just wonder what sort of um, reception you expect when you go back to field mill next year <laughs> um probably not the best but it is what it is isn't it <laughs> it's football eh? yeah it's football that's it, it happens um it's, it's football at the end of the day and um i had a great year there to be fair and thankful for everyone there but um i'm not counting playing now so um hopefully we can go there and get a win that would be nice yeah, and you sense just to, to go back to the kind of feeling about the club, even though, as I say, we, you know we are still talking in May. August seems yeah. a long way away, but uh, the feeling is that they can build on last season. Of course, they had a fantastic year. Obviously, they were up there for a long time, and they're obviously seeing the playoffs games. Everyone lucky with with things that went against them. But um, like, like I said, they're trying to we're trying to improve and um, take that next step. And if you take the next step, then you, you, I think you can guarantee promotion. So. Um, it's down for everyone to obviously keep working hard and hopefully that's that's something we can do. Good luck, Kane. Cheers, thank, thank you. Very much. Cheers. Yeah, when, when you spoke to the manager, Kane, what did, what did he say to you and how did he sell the vision of the club? Um, well, he just, just like, obviously they've, they've had a great year last year and he just wants to build on on, on what, he's, what he's already built. So um, just come here and, and play football and, and do, do what you can do. and. Obviously, I'll get all the support from everyone that I need, and hopefully, it can be another successful year. 15 goals last season. That was, yeah. Were you happy with that return? Um, I could have scored a few more, but um, I think if you're a striker, you score 15, 15 yeah. every season. I think you're doing all right. So um, 
that's probably yeah, that's probably a target you'll always set myself as, as a minimum 15. So um, hopefully I can get a few more than that this year and um, really drive the club forward. And obviously next season, what are the ambitions? Promotion of it has definitely got to be on the agenda. Yeah, do you I think? think it's got to be. I think every every year, as a personal, as a player, or as a manager, or even as a club as well, you you always want to improve. So um, if you can improve on a on a playoff finish next year, then you, you, hopefully you can get into them automatic spots and get promotion. Yeah, definitely. Because you sense when you look around the stadium and uh, the facilities, the crowds oh, yeah, that can get, you, it, they seem to be in the wrong league, don't uh, they? If you look around, it's not a, it's not a League Two club. Do you know what I mean? Even even if you go into some League One grounds, you know what I mean? They've not got the facilities that they've got here. So um, it's definitely a club that w- wants to get back to where it feels it should be belong and hopefully I can be a big part of that. I bet it's nice to be able to go in that home dressing room rather than the away one now, isn't it? I know, it? yeah. It's a, little, it's, a little, it's a little bit cramped in that in the dressing room now, but um, hopefully we won't get team tucks in the showers. Is that what happened last year? Yeah, 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 it was in the showers, wasn't me? So obviously you can't see everyone, can you, if it's yeah. in there? So deck chairs in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what are your hopes personally for next season? I mean, because I imagine new players yeah. take time to settle in. But what would you um, like? Listen, just to, just to hit the hit the ground running, and um, I always like to think if I, if I can play as frequently as possible, then the goals will always come. So um, just to play as much as possible and um, be the best player I can be, and I always know within myself that if I do that, then I'll, I'll score goals. And you seem to be me to be a player who thrives off playing off the shoulder of a, of a defender. Is it, would I be correct in? in yeah, yeah, that? It's, 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 it's a big part of my game is, is getting in behind people as well and um, making it awkward for defenders. And um, but I always like to think I can come and play a bit as well. So um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can get in behind a few people and, and bang in a few goals. And when you played against Notts here last time for Mansfield, what, what did you make of Notts as a team? Then very difficult to play against. Very difficult to play against. They were very. Um, very strong and very, very, very physical, and it was a tough game for us. Um, did we get away with one at the end? Maybe, but um, obviously we were delighted on the day. But um, it was a very good, very, very difficult place to come, and it's not one where you want to come every week if, if, if they're flying and the fans are here and they're on top of you and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's a difficult place to come. Um, and just leaving Oxford, what, what, how would you assess your time there? I had a good first year there. Obviously, the new managers come in and last year and. Obviously, allowed me to go on loan, and then obviously the new ones come in, and I've spoke to him, and he's he couldn't promise me anything really. So um, I had a great time there. Obviously, still got a lot of friends down there. Everyone was great with me, and um, yeah, I wished them all the best. And I imagine you would have had plenty of other offers. What was it that stood out for Notts County that, that separated them from all the rest? Like I said, just the vision for the club, what the chairman's doing, what obviously where the manager wants to take it, and um, um, obviously got a, got a family on the way now, a little one on the way, and. I'm quite local to here as well, so yeah, it, it, it was just fit, perfect for me.